Hello friends, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. So as you understand, this is about RV College of Engineering, RVCE, and I'm going to talk about all of the case at Comet K and the hostel fee structure. RVCE in Bangalore, which is the number one engineering college in Karnataka and one of the top notch option in India to uh, do your engineering. So this is quite old and established college started in 1963. So, uh, and it's an autonomous college. So, autonomous college, which is affiliated to Vishwasaraya Technology University VT and its NAC accreditation is A+. Talking uh, about its NRF ranking, so last three years, uh, it's all and, and always it has been under top 100 colleges. Uh, in 2024, its ranking is 99, but uh, it is a college which should be considered only in the top 50 and it is equivalent to any good NIT. And talking about the address, it is located on the Mysore Road uh, in Bangalore and uh, it's approximately 12 to 15 kilometers from the city railway station. So basically how to reach RV College of Engineering? So if you are coming by bus, you can uh, uh, stop, stop at RVC stop, right? So bus will come from Kangiri side or Bidhi side, but you can have a stop at RVC stop. And if you are coming by metro, then there is a Patangiri stop and uh, RV metro is also there now. And distance is 13 km from Bangalore railway station, Kempegaoda bus stand, KR market and 3 km from Bangalore university gate. Now talking about the uh, fee structure through different uh, examinations, right? And this is 24-25 fee structure, which is the last year's fee structure because this year's fee structure is still not out. So KSET exam, CET exam or through KU mode, uh, your tuition fees will be like 1,7495, right? And apart from tuition fees, there will be some more fees, which I will talk later in this video. So tuition fee for KSET students, 1,7495. Now moving further, let's talk about the students who are coming through Comet K admission process. So again, this is for last year, 24-25 and the Comet K tuition fees is 2,81,477 and it includes tuition fees and college fees. And apart from that, there will be some more fees, which I will talk later in this particular video. So what is that other fees, which I was talking in the previous sheet? So if you are coming from K set or Comet K, irrespective of that you will have to pay this amount separately so this amount is for students studied who studied in karnataka if you are from karnataka student so whatever fees i have showed earlier plus plus this one which is skill lab fees of 20000 vtu fees of 10000 so 30610 you have to pay extra and this 30610 you have to pay in college in the form of dd so that was for the student who is from Karnataka. But if you have a student from outside Karnataka coming through Comet K or the other modes, then skill life fees remain same, which is 20,000 rupees every year. But VTU fees every year will be 12,000 rupees. That is 2,000 rupees more. So any student from outside Karnataka, they will have to pay 32,110. This was last year fees. And the DD you will have to make is amount 32,000 rupees amount. Now, any student who is coming from outside India, that is NRI, PU, IPI, UNC, uh, other students, right? So, is NRI quota, those students will have to pay the same skill lab fees, 20,000. For them, the VTU fees is 10,000 more, which is now become 22,000. So, total fees they will pay is skill lab plus VTU is equal to 42,110 and their DD amount will be 42,000 rupees. The total fee structure for last year management quota is given here. So almost similar thing it will be there, maybe 5 to 10 percent more. That's all. So civil engineering branch, if you see the first line item, uh, tuition fees for first year is 5 lakhs, second year also 5 lakhs, third year also 5 lakhs, fourth year also 5 lakhs. So total 20 lakhs for studying civil. Mechanical engineering is 6 lakh rupees every year, so total 24 lakhs. Triple is, is also 5 lakhs per year, so total 20 lakhs. ECE, first year is 16 lakhs, but next 3 years, 7, 7, 7. So total for ECE will be 37 lakhs. Indest, industrial engineering and management, 4 lakh rupees per year, total 16 lakhs. Next branch is chemical engineering, 3 lakh rupees per year, total 12 lakhs. Computer science engineering is the costliest, as I said, first year 32 lakhs, then 12 lakhs, then 12 lakhs, then 12 lakhs. So total 68 lakhs you need to pay for CSC. Electronics and communication engineering 5 lakhs plus 5 lakhs on all 4 years 5 lakhs, so total 20 lakhs. Electronics and telecommunication. 
uh, information science engineering first year 20 lakhs then next year 10 lakhs 10 lakhs 10 lakhs total 50 lakhs biotechnology first year 9 lakhs but rest of the years 5 lakhs so total for biotechnology 24 lakhs uh, aerospace engineering first year 9 lakhs next uh, 3 years it's around 7 lakhs each so total 30 lakhs for aerospace also now csc with aiml branch first year 20 lakhs uh, next of 3 years 10 lakhs each total 50 lakhs computer science with cyber security also first year 20 lakhs and total will be 50 lakhs and the last one you see computer science with data science that also total for uh, 4 years will be 50 lakhs so this includes all the courses for management quota now coming to the hostels part of it. So have, they have good number of hostels for both boys and girls. So there is a hostel with the name of Chamundi block which is basically first year UG students hostel and the same hostel is shared by RV university student that is Chamundi block. Then there is a Kaveri annexure block which is for first year UG students, Kaveri block for second and third year UG students and then there is Sir M. Vishwasharya block which is for final year and the PG students right those are the hostels and this is the, one of the picture of their Kaveri hostel and then you can see this is the picture of their diamond jubilee block which is there and uh, apart from that they do also have a RVC girls hostel so RVC girls hostel is uh, basically located in the Krishna garden you can see the address RVC girls hostel 4th cross Krishna garden Patangiri Bangalore so that is the um, details and uh, RVC girls hostel there is also one in DJ block right which is in the RVC campus itself so there are couple of them and the one in the DJ block is basically for the first year and the higher semester B students so before I go for uh, details about the hostel fees and the transportation fees these are some of the contact details for general inquiries as well as the boys and the girls hostel inquiry now the hostel fees so first this is for the triple sharing and this is applicable for both boys and girls same fees so for triple sharing that means three students in a room there will be two charges one is the fixed charges second is the mess charges so fixed charges for anybody who is getting a new admission will be 96,750 again this is last year's new admission right 24 batch but somebody who joined in 23 batch they paid only 90,750 that means 6,000 rupees or approximately 7% the uh, fixed charges increased what about the mess charges for new admission 56,100 and even for the old admission 56,000 that means mess charges does not change every year but the fixed charges changes so if you see in 2024 batch the student paid 1,52,850 every year including fixed plus mess for the triple sharing for the previous batch students they paid only 1,46,000 for the triple sharing so triple sharing is available for both the boys and girls hostels now let's talk about the double sharing so double sharing is only available for boys hostel not for the girls hostel so double sharing for boys hostel you can see fixed charges for the new admission of 2024 was 1,34,000 mess charge was 56,000 so total new admission student paid 1,90,600 in double sharing but the older students of the previous batch which is 23 batch they paid 1,28 plus 56 that is they paid 1,84,000 so 6,000 rupees 7,000 rupees fees increases every year for hostel this you can assume for this year also now do you need to provide all the fees at one no for the mess charges there is installment so fixed charges you have to give at one time in the year but for the mess charges you can pay in installment first installment of mess charges will be 28,000 uh, for the odd semester similarly second installment will be also 28,000 right then let's see the hostel refund policy so for the refund purpose if the student have not reported to college 10 percent deduction will be there less of the amount you will get but if you have reported to college you join the college and one month is over up to one month 25 percent they will reduce after up to two months they will reduce 50 percent and rest of the amount they will give but if it is beyond two months they will not refund anything and 100 percent of your hostel fees is gone so that is the refund policy for rv college hostels now the last thing is if you are coming through your uh, transportation provided by bus which is a school bus or your college bus then in that case the regular college fees for bus will be 35,000 and you will have to provide DD in favor of RV College of Injury 
girls in the krishna girls hostel which is outside campus if you are using transportation service of the college then you have to pay 6000 rupees for transporting from your hostel to the rv campus and this is for a one year fees so i have covered all of the kset fees comet keys comet key fees management quota fees and also the hostel fees transportation fee that's all thanks for watching please do subscribe channel to get similar updates on all the colleges in karnataka